Hello everyone. This is Cheryl Johnson and I'm going to step you through how to add audio to your existing Keynote files so that you can repurpose them for remote learning and teaching. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner you have a document tab. When we click on the document tab, you'll see that you also now have visible the audio tab. Once we click there, we have a record button. So we're going to click on that record button and this brings up the presenter's view. You'll notice down here that my microphone is being picked up and I have some controls. So I'm going to click that record button and I will get my countdown and now I can introduce my topic with the title slide. Once I've said everything I want to say about the first slide, I click on the next slide and um, delve into the details need to be aware of for this slide and then continue to the next slide talk about it, and work your way through the entire presentation, uh, audio annotating each one of the slides. You notice here that if I need to take a moment to pause and think things through, I do have this pause button, and then when I click it again, I start up with the recording again. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording by uh, clicking on that record button again. And now you see that I have an audio file here. You might be able to see that there are very light lines um, breaking up the sections. That indicates where I have each of my slides with annotation. So you can listen with back. the title slide. Once I've said and once you're happy with it, uh, you can go ahead and um, exit out of this view. If you want to redo the entire narration, you have a trash can right here where you can dump it all and start again. So I'm going to X out of this presenter view and go back here. And now, um, if you were able to deliver up this keynote file to students because you know that all students have a Mac with keynote on it, then they will open the file, click play, and then select play recorded slideshow. And now I can introduce my topic with the title slide. Once I'm going to exit there. So this um, becomes a problem if uh, your students don't all have a Mac with Keynote on it. We have to point out that if you were to choose export to PowerPoint and move through those steps, and I'll just keep this as an untitled PowerPoint, um, I'll export and you'll see the error message. Some changes were made to your exported presentation. The slideshow recording was removed. So you can't serve this up to students um, this way. You would have to first export it as a PowerPoint and then you would turn to the instructions about how to insert um, audio in that PowerPoint presentation, which is a video that is linked from our remote learning and teaching website. However, you do have another solution, and that solution is export to movie. So once I do that, I walk through the next title it. I'm just going to keep it untitled. You see that it is an M4V uh, file format, which every student should be able to open. It works to create that movie. We'll just let that crank out. 
Okay, we're all encoded. Let's take a look. I have on my desktop the untitled M4V and I can open that with the VLC player. I can open it with the QuickTime app and we'll just bring that up. And now I can introduce my topic with the title slide. So this will be a viable solution for all students in your class, if not all have a Mac with Keynote. Thank you for spending the time watching this instructional video.